Hello YouTube. Today I will be showing you guys how to scrap this True Tech DVD player. So, yeah, fun this in a big pile of junk. And, yeah, let's start scrapping it. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the four screws on the front. I'll just get on my bag of tools. Put on my gloves. Here's that we need to use a fairly small screwdriver. Should do it. Covered with some kind of wax, which is a bit annoying. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to be like a CD drive, probably. Maybe an extra board for the board or two for the uh, screen on the front. Not expecting much, probably just a little bit of wire and a little bit of circuit board. I'm thinking the circuit board should be pretty high grade. But who knows when we open it up. Alright, so. I am now going to remove this back panel to give it weight. This one. So after removing that back panel, we have a piece of steel. And we could just probably pull this piece off. Yeah, it just comes right out. Two more pieces of steel. The back piece is some plastic. Now we're going to the good stuff here. About a few stuff. And would you look at that? It appears to be a CD. And press this button. And I think it pull back the latch. And happy feet. All them teenagers are probably thinking of montage parodies. Wombo combo. Anyway. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna pull back on this tiny little piece of steel right there. It should come right out. If not, let's just 
these or should do it. No? There we go. A little more piece of steel. I'm gonna undo this tiny one. Bitty bitty screw that should help us remove the power switch. Might be able to resell that DVD, see if it works. I doubt it though. So on this one here, there's a right here. This board here is a low grade board, nothing special. Just gonna cut that. So on this board here, there appears to be quite a bit of stuff. Just pulling out all the loose wires I can spot that hold this board in place. This one is soldered on, so cut that off. So, next, what we want to do is attempt to remove this um, circuit board. Let's just secure it on with a couple of screws. So this piece appears to be a nice little, I don't know what you could say what grade it is, kind of like a CD board. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be a mid-grade or peripheral. Pull up these uh, connectors. The connectors are not gold plated, they're just uh, silver or tin plated. Put that on with my uh, insulated. So now I'm gonna work on seeing if I can remove this board, uh, this piece of um, gear, this gear work here. All right, there you go. These heavy duty screws should help us undo hmm. all right I took out the three screws and there we go so on this board this piece there appears to be some steel rods on both sides um, some extra wire and two little um, motors little oh, piece of steel enclosure on the right one Flip it over, there's a little laser warning, later laser radiation, and there appears to be another board where the connector was, and there should be a little gold laser diode. Alright, so I have taken apart that part, and of course we got our two little motors. One of them controls the uh, orientation of the little reader head and the other one controls the movement at the CD and the drive. And a little extra wire here and there. Right. So we're done with the bottom part. Now for the top. So now all we gotta do is just open up the lid. And there we go. Bottom part of steel, of course, and we just undo all the screws around the um, top part of the case. There's quite a few. All right, so once you get that um, lid removed, now we got two more nice boards. So this board is the driver board for the high voltage 
part to power the lights and stuff. To power the um, LCD. And on the top part appears to be something that has where all the buttons go. So, now, I'm just going to remove all of those screws that hold this bottom one in place. There's just two, I think. And yeah, the top one comes right off. So now I'm just going to cut off. The wires that hold this in place and then I do the um, cables. So yeah. Actually kind of a low grade board except that there's a lot of chips and um, monophic ceramic capacitor so that's a bit higher. Not as high as the uh, main board. And the wires are not gold plated on that one. How about this one? Not on that one either. However, this one here, the wires are nice and gold plated. So this piece is a gold plated wire. So we want to take this out later. So now I'm going to undo this bottom um, piece. Unfortunately, none of these boards have any gold plating whatsoever. This board here. Just gonna cut off some of these wires. And got ourselves some nice number two copper. remove these speakers. If we can. You know I can get it. It's just really, really tricky. There we go. So inside here, there will be some um, number two copper. And that one as well. Let's try to get this um, part off. Looks like held on by two screws on each side. All right, I separated that. Goes with our plastic. Here. 
So, to remove that um, piece of gold, because there's a little piece of uh, gold leafing on the internal connector as well, we need to remove um, four screws on each corner. Alright, sorry about that, my camera just on me, so I guess I'll just have to continue with a new video. So, on the previous one I was just about to take off the screen and I just took it out. All we need to do now is just pull back on the um, little metal siding. This will help us get to the screen more easier. Oh, okay. Now I'm just going to pull back on the tab. And I pulled back on the tab and look at that nice gold plating. And of course our screen needs to go to hazardous waste. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you found that video interesting and useful. Inside basically there's just a few nice quality boards, a little bit of wiring and um, some steel. And so there's even a DVD if they leave it in there. And a little bit of gold. So yeah, please like, comment, subscribe for more content in the future from the East Scrap Man. And I'll see you guys later. And by the way, before I go, I'll tell you something extremely important. If you got, if you don't have any kind of um, wasp yellow jacket um, killer, you can just use yourself some WD-40. This stuff is great. There is one really annoying um, little bug, like a little insect, and I drowned him in some WD-40. That thing is nasty. Can't see that on the camera, but the thing is dead. Let's see if we can try to get a good picture of him. I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, there we go. That's a nasty one. Thing is dead though. He's not gonna kill anyone else, so. Yeah, WD 40 is the stuff. See ya.